algorithmic management is based on uh, statistical analysis of data. Data is always about the past. We never have data about the future. And the decisions that these systems are making are based on correlations on what they see in the past. My name is Virginia Dignam. I'm a professor of uh, social and uh, ethical artificial intelligence at Umeå University in Sweden. The main challenge on the automatization and digitalization of work is, of course, the consequences for the labor force. And those consequences don't have to be necessarily negative consequences, but a dialogue is important to take place to, for both companies and uh, workers to understand uh, what are the options and how those options influence the future of people. management is based on uh, statistical analysis of data and because we people are biased and are uh, tendentious and prejudiced in some cases, if the data uh, contains this type of uh, characteristics, then necessarily those decisions by the algorithms are going to reproduce and in some cases strengthen this type of uh, characteristics. The data is sufficiently diverse in terms of race, gender, uh, culture, background, uh, all types of characteristics, then the algorithmic systems will be able to be as well uh, di diverse and inclusive. But we really have to take into account the way that we are training these algorithms and the, the type of decisions and the type of options that we give the algorithm to choose from. And that in many cases requires to not only uh, curating the data, but also considering the types of uh, reasoning mechanisms that the algorithm is using. a saying which says that if what you are doing can be explained in less than uh, five minutes, then it can be made by a machine. If what you are doing is cannot be explained in less than one or five minutes, then probably the chances are higher that you cannot really easily uh, replace be replaced by a machine. Of course, the numbers are a bit simplified, but indeed, the more repetitive, the more uh, simple and uh, explainable is what you are doing. Uh, and together with the, the availability of data about what you are doing, uh, the chances are higher that that job can be uh, replaced by a machine. That doesn't mean that your job is lost because the machine is only and for many years to be able to do very simple and very structured type of decision. So once the decision gets out of a certain uh, bound, it's still the human intervention is needed. Firstly, they should understand well what they mean by AI, what the possibilities are to ensuring that AI is being used responsibly and that people can trust AI. And then, in those cases, probably uh, ensuring some level of regulation that describes the minimum thresholds for the situations and the capabilities and the, the, the characteristics of these AI systems are at a level that we trust and that we think is reliable enough, that's a job for the, for the governments. It's also a job for the governments to ensure that there is a dialogue and a good discussion within the countries in which people can feel uh, involved in the discussions and not really having this fear that things are being done for them without them being heard. enable all us to be able to make better decisions once we are confident and uh, share an idea of what these better decisions are. I think that AI is going 
to help us to have a better balance between work life and private life and also to give us more opportunities to deploy other types of talents than just what is directly required by our job descriptions. Mm -hmm.